Hi, let's discuss grammar with common prefixes. If more than one production start with the same sequence of grammar symbol, then grammar is called as grammar with common prefixes. Just for example, from A, we can derive AAA or AAB or epsilon. Here you can say this AA is common in both the production. Here there is AA, here is also there is AA. So this is a common prefix. And for top-down parsing, the grammar should be free from left recursion, ambiguity, and common prefix. So what is the disadvantage of common prefix? Suppose you want to generate A, B. From A, we will choose the first option like A, A, A. Now pointer will see first A matches, so it will just choose the first option. Next, from A, it will generate epsilon. Then it will see A. We require B. But we got A. So what we will do, we will again backtrack. And we will choose the second option. Like from A, we will derive A, A, B. Then from A, we will derive epsilon. So we can generate A, B. As look ahead pointer can only see one symbol at a time. So it cannot see which symbol is at next. This is non-deterministic. From A, there are two production. Either it can go A, A, A or A, A, B. So from A, either it can go A, A, A or it can go A, A, B. And look at symbol only can see one symbol at a time. So when it will see any string start with A, it will choose this option. But after that, if it will see B, then it will backtrack and choose this option. So that's why we should remove the common prefixes. And the process of removing common prefixes is called as left factoring. Left factoring is a grammar transformation that is useful for top-down parsing. For top-down parsing, grammar should be free from ambiguity, left recursion, and common prefixes. It is just one way of transforming grammar with common prefixes to grammar without common prefixes. So the process of removing common prefixes or you can say eliminating non-determinism is called as left factoring. Suppose one grammar is in this format from A, you can derive alpha, beta 1, alpha, beta 2, alpha, beta 3. You can see this alpha is common. This alpha is common in all the production. You can take this alpha as a common and you can write A dash. From A, you will derive alpha, A dash. Then from A dash, you will derive beta 1, beta 2 or beta 3. So from A dash, you will derive beta 1, beta 2, beta 3. Now suppose you want to generate alpha beta 3. In case of this, from A we will derive alpha beta 1. Then this is not the production. Again we will backtrack. Then from A we will generate alpha beta 2. Again this will be not matched so we will backtrack. Again from A we will generate alpha beta 3. So there you need to backtrack. Now from this grammar if we will generate from A we will generate alpha beta a dash then from a dash there are three options and look at pointer it can see only one symbol so it can see the beta 3 rather than choosing beta 1 beta 2 it will direct choose beta 3 and there will be no backtracking in first attempt we can get alpha beta 3 so we should remove the common prefixes for removing non-determinism let's see some example first example from a you can derive a b a c a D or A E. Now here what is the common prefix? Common prefix is A. In every production A is present. So from A you simply derive A B. Then from this B you will derive B C D or E. So next from B you will generate B C D or E. You can write A dash or B. A dash that is nothing that is just a new variable. You can consider B C D any variable that, that doesn't matter. Let's see another example from E, you can derive E plus C, E multiplication E, then bracket E and ID. Now what are the common prefix? This E and this E is common prefix. Now from E, we will derive E, E dash. So this is the common prefix, E dash is the new variable. Then whatever without common prefix, that you just write down. So bracket E and ID, you just write down. Next from E dash, we will generate plus E and multiplication E. So from A dash, just derive plus E and multiplication E. 
Let's see another example from S. You can derive S A S B S or S B S A S or epsilon. What is common prefix here? This S is the common. So from S, we'll derive S H dash or epsilon. Epsilon, there is no common prefix. So you can just write down. Then in these two production, S is the common. Write down S and H dash. H dash is a new variable. Now from S dash. We'll derive this part A S B S or B S A S. So from H test, we'll derive A S B S or B S A S. Just mark one thing: the grammar with both left and right recursive is always ambiguous. Here, this grammar is both left and right recursive. This is the ambiguous grammar. Here also, this is the ambiguous grammar. It have both left and right recursive. We are just removing the common prefix, but common prefix removal doesn't mean we are removing ambiguity. So left factoring will not remove the ambiguity. Ambiguity we can remove from the expression grammar by associativity or precedence rules. But removing common prefix does not mean that we are removing the ambiguity. Like this grammar is not unambiguous. Here this grammar is not unambiguous. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.